What is up everyone? Today I'm going to be showing you how to make millions every day in GTA Online. So let's get into it. So for this method we are going to use a bunch of different ways. So the first thing is to make sure they have a nightclub and make sure they have the five best businesses assigned to it. So I'm just going to go to my nightclub right now and I'm going to show you what you need to do. So once you're inside your nightclub you're going to go to whatever floor you want and you're going to go to the computer wherever that may be and you're going to make sure that you have this set up here. So mine's full on a lot of them now because I've had it running for a while but what you're going to want is that's the wrong one you're going to want cargo and shipments sporting goods South American imports pharmaceutical research organic produce and cash creation those are um, the best ones or the, the ones that I have printing and copying is almost useless but the ones you always want assigned are cargo and shipments sporting goods South American imports Pharmaceutical research and cash creation. They'll earn you the best money in the quickest time. So you're going to make sure that you have that. And you can either AFK in the security cameras if you have them in your nightclub. Or you can go AFK on a TV in your apartment. Or you can use the rubber band method. So what you're going to do is you can AFK for a bit. But since mine isn't that far from being full I'm gonna show you the next step to make a bunch of money so what we're gonna do is once we're in with, with Kasatko, our Kasatko, can't really speak today we're gonna go onto this control panel here you will have to pay 25k but you will make that back really easily and a bunch more so you're going to gather intel and you're going to go to wherever it tells you to and I really recommend teleporting because I don't really want to fly up here and I don't think you do so just go to your driving seat and just teleport to wherever you need to go so once that you have started your mission you will be ordered to go somewhere for now for me it is grapeseed but for you it could be anywhere, it could be all the way at the top of the map. So, I recommend using a sparrow for this. But what you gotta do, is you gotta go and fly over, or just make your way over to a, wherever you gotta go. And you've gotta steal a plane to smuggle yourself into the island. Now, you want to be careful when attacking these, because you don't want to damage the plane. You can see that there's a car there, that's really all we want to hit with the missiles. And then we can go on foot and kill the rest. And now we need to fly the plane all the way down to the dock so if you're all the way at the top of the map this could be a very annoying step for you so once you're on the island you're gonna want to follow the same route that I take here this will be the easiest way to get to the tower so obviously that will save you time and it'll be better for you
so once you get to the tower, you will have to go to the voltage box, which for me is just on the bottom floor. And then you've just got to complete this little mini game, which isn't that hard to do really. You just match them up. It could be different for you, but it was that easy for me. All right. So if you're doing the high solo, all you need to do is, all you need to scout out in this is the primary target because you can get secondary targets in the docks. But if you're doing it with a team, you will probably want to scout out what you've got in the uh, the areas on his island in his compound because then you know what you're getting and it'll be easier. So you can see, I did get the ruby necklace. Now you're just gonna want to get caught by the guards because they'll take you right back to the airport. So now you can just safely to return to Los Santos. So once you're back in Los Santos, you're gonna call in your Kasatko and you're gonna make your way there. So once you're at your Kasatko, what you're gonna do is you're gonna back, go back to the planning board. And I'm gonna show you the missions that you need to do. So the missions that I do are for the approach vehicles, the Kasatko, it's just the one I prefer doing. Then for equipment, all you need to do is plasma cutter, fingerprint cloner, and cutting torch. And then for the weapons, it's whatever you prefer. But personally, for a solo heist, I prefer to use the aggressor. But that's just me. And then disruption, you don't really need to do these. So, yeah, um, once you've got all your preps done, um, you can go back to your planning board and I'll meet you there. So once you have done all the necessary preps, you will see that you will have this like little pop up on the screen. It'll say that you can now start the heist. So what you're going to do is if you're ready, you're going to start the heist. Obviously I'm just going to do this on my own, so... Let's go. Right, so now you're gonna set up the high style you like it. And now we can start the heist. So now it is up to you how you want to complete the heist, but if you want to follow this method you can.
so as you can see that heist did get us a lot it got me about 1.3 million so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to our nightclub and we are gonna sell the stock that we have so obviously for me this is 1.5 million but for you this could be anything so just sell whatever you have in your nightclub if you've been afk in you should have quite a lot but as you can see i do have a nice 1.5 million and the other thing to mention is that i am selling this in a public lobby just to get a bit more money so you can do that if you want but really that's what i'm going to be doing so let's go So as you can see, you do only have one delivery vehicle for the nightclub, which is one of the best features of it. And I do recommend having Ghost uh, organization activated. Uh, you can't lock on to nightclub vehicles, but uh, we have got to make three drops here, so I am going to just Ghost. So as you can see, I did just sell the nightclub stock. I did get a good 1.8 million from that that is probably because of the um, high in uh, demand bonus from the public session um, but yeah there, there were a few moments in that delivery where it could have just gone like it, it could have just gone downhill I'm not even gonna lie selling in the pounder is very difficult but now we're gonna go into the last method and um, that is the uh, crates, so uh, I'll be a minute. So the last method in this video is going to be the CEO crate warehouse. Now, as you can see in this video, I was selling a medium warehouse and um, I did get a surprising amount from the end of it. Uh, as I said, this is a medium warehouse. I got about 700,000 from it. And that is because I sold in a public lobby that was full of players. Um, but you can earn more with a large warehouse, which can carry up to 2.2 million. And a small crate warehouse, which I believe is like 300k. Um, so, yeah, you, c you can see that this is like another really good way to make money in this game. Just like the other two. So, yeah, that is the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.